the bell icon to turn on notifications. Sometimes it can be a little bit daunting if you're asked to put together a spreadsheet from scratch. If you're faced with just a blank workbook and your manager asks you to create a budget spreadsheet or maybe something like an invoice, you might not really know where to start. And that is where templates can be your best friend. A template is simply a pre-built spreadsheet. It contains formatting, formulas, and lots of other items. And the great thing about Excel is that we have a whole host of inbuilt templates that we can use for free. So if we want to find our templates, let's jump up to the file menu to go into that backstage area. And let's jump down to new. Now, if we scroll down to the lower half of this page, notice we have a tab at the top that says office and one that says personal. Now, I'm going to get into what personal is in a moment. Let's now concentrate on this office section. This is where you're going to find all of your templates. And all of the templates in Excel are organized into different categories to make them easier for you to find. And you'll notice just under that search bar at the top where it says search for online templates, we have some suggested search categories. So, for example, if I was looking for some kind of budget template, I could click on the budgets link just here. It's going to search through all of the inbuilt templates in Excel and just present me with the ones that are related to budgets. And you can see in there, we can go through and take a look for the one that most suits our needs. For example, I have some monthly company budget templates. We have a wedding expense budget, college budget, holiday planner budget, so on and so forth. Let's click the back arrow to go back to the main template page. What I can also do is I can search for templates as well using the search bar at the top. So maybe I need to create an invoice. I don't want to do it from scratch. So I'm going to search to see if Excel has any invoice templates that I can use. And you can see that, yes, we do. We have quite a few in here. So once you find a template that you want to use, and I think I'm just going to choose this simple invoice template, let's click it once. It opens up a little window that gives me a little bit of information about this template. It also tells me who is providing this template, in this case, Microsoft. And I also get to see the download size as well. And I can check in that preview to make sure that this is the template that I want to select. Notice that I have arrows either side. So if I want to scroll through and take a look at some other templates, I can definitely do that as well. Now, I'm pretty happy with this template, so I'm just going to click the big old green create button in the middle there. And that is going to load up that template into the main window of Excel. Now, one thing to notice here is if you look up in that title bar, you can see that it just says simple invoice one. And that is the name of this actual template. And the cool thing about these templates is that they are reusable. So if I was to come into here and make some changes, so maybe I need to change the company name. Let's just change that to IT Train Now. If I try and save this template, it's going to ask me to save it under a new file name. So effectively, I can't overwrite this template, which means that if I want to reuse this, I can just go into File New and reselect it again. Now, all of the elements of these templates can be customized. So if you don't particularly like the colors that are in use here, you can change things like that by simply using your formatting tools at the top. Also notice that all of these fields are editable. I can just double click in them if I want to add information. And also notice that I have some formulas included in this template as well. So if I click on cell G9, if you take a look up in the formula bar, you can see there's already a formula in that cell. And what this is basically going to do is when I start adding in line items, it's automatically going to calculate. So if I add in the line item, let's just add something in. I'm going to put in webinar. We've got one. The unit price is 250 and there's no discount. Notice that it automatically totals for me. 
So by using this template, I've saved so much time because it means that I don't have to hash out the main structure of this invoice myself. I don't have to add formulas. I don't have to add formatting. Now, once I've finished editing this, I have two options when it comes to saving. And I'm going to talk a bit more about this when we get into the lesson related to saving, but I could choose just to save this as a regular Excel workbook, or I could choose to save this as a template file. And in fact, I can save any workbook that I create as a template file if I want to. So maybe let's delete out what we've added in here. Maybe I make some changes to this template. So let's just change the background fill at the top here. I'm going to change that to this dark red color. Maybe I've made some other changes. Maybe I've added my company logo, something like that. And now maybe going forward, I always want to use this template, which I've now customized a little bit, instead of starting from the blank invoice template every single time. So if I want to use my customized template, I would need to save this as a template file. So if I jump up to file and go down to save as, I'm going to browse for a location to save this in. And for the time being, I'm just going to save this on my desktop. But what I need to do here is I need to give it a name. So maybe I want to call this train IT now invoice template, but I need to change the type of file that I'm saving it as. So instead of just saving it as a regular Excel worksheet, I want to save this as a template file. And you'll see if we click the drop down just here, we have this file type .xltx, which is an Excel template file. Now notice that as soon as I change this save as file type, it jumps me to an entirely different folder. If you remember, I had selected my desktop to save this to. As soon as I change this, I am now in the custom office templates folder. And this is the default folder where Microsoft saves any templates that you create. Now you could choose to override this and go back and save it to whichever folder you prefer, but there is one big advantage of saving it into the default folder. So let's click on save. I can now see that that file name has changed and I'm going to close down this template. And for this, I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut control W. Now, if I want to reuse that template, if I go to file and down to new, this is what this personal section is for at the bottom. So when you save a template into the default templates folder, it's going to save it to personal in here. And it just means that any template that you create, you can access very quickly from this personal section. And you can see there is my template on the end here, train IT now invoice template. If I chosen to save this template to my desktop, as opposed to in the custom templates folder, I wouldn't be able to select it from this personal section. So I'll leave that up to you to determine if you want to save it in here or if you have a specific folder that you'd like to save your templates into. But just be aware of that distinction because saving it into personal makes it so much easier to access. Let's just click to open this again. It's now opened my template with my customizations. I can update this file, maybe for a new client, and then I could choose to just save this as a regular Excel file if I need to send that to the client and then reuse my template again for the next client. So templates are definitely worth checking out if you want to get a head start on spreadsheet creation. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.